Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Face-to-face -face IRS help without an appointment. Hold on a second. Is that some kind of euphemistic way of saying they're sending over IRS goons to my house to collect past due taxes? Face-to-face? -face? I'll pay. I'll pay. You don't need to send over IRS collection agent Rocky to break my thumbs. Although, I am happy Rocky got a nice government job these days with a solid government pension. He does seem like a nice guy for somebody who breaks thumbs for a living. Face-to-face -face IRS help without an appointment available during special Saturday opening on May 14th. IR 2022-106 May 10th, 2022 Washington. Although filing season has come and gone, the Internal Revenue Service recognizes taxpayers still need assistance. <laughs> it's true. The IRS's job of assisting taxpayers to pay them is never ending. To help taxpayers, the IRS today announced many taxpayer assistance centers, those are the TACs around the country, including Puerto Rico, will be open and offering face-to-face -face help on Saturday, May 14th. Now, this can be a really good tool that you might want to be informing people of because a lot of people, especially with the changes in the tax laws, have had questions and possibly difficulties to file the taxes as well as just changes in their personal circumstances due to the last couple of years. And we haven't had as much kind of face-to-face -face help where people can actually talk to someone because of the pandemic, of course, and even the online or the phone assistance has been short due to the pandemic. And I would argue the kind of weird responses to the pandemic on the top-down government side of things, which kind of led to possibly in part shortages on the telephone lines and they tried to assist people through basically just simply the website and web resources but uh, some people are going to need more assistance than that most likely in some other form of assistance so the in-person stuff is a good thing in my opinion so this special saturday help is available from 9 a.m to 4 p.m and without an appointment normally tacs are open by appointment only on weekdays so quote we're offering saturday office hours so people can get the help they need said the Taxpayer Experience Officer and IRS Wage and Investment Division Commissioner, Ken Corbin. Ken Corbin has quite the title. It's like a paragraph long that takes up half the article here, his title does. But in any case, quote, we recognize and understand not everyone can get to an appointment during normal business hours, end quote. The IRS.gov website, contact your local IRS office. There's a link to that here. Lists all TAC services offered during the event and regular office hours. Many have used a Saturday visit to ask about IRS identity protection service or, uh, so there's a link to that if you want some more information on that, or to request individual taxpayer identification numbers, the ITINs, uh, refunds, and payment options. So there's links to that stuff. So taxpayers can make payments by check or money order. The IRS will not accept cash during these events. Uh, people can also ask about using the IRS tax withholding estimator. There's a link to that here. It's a great tool. Recognizing advanced child tax credit. There's a link to that here. Or third round of economic impact payments. There's a link to that here. They can inquire about a tax bill, an IRS audit, or a TAC's other available services. If assistance is not available from IRS employees specializing in these areas, individuals will receive a referral for them. Taxpayer advocate service employees may also be available to assist with issues that meet certain criteria. Foreign language interpreters will be available. IRS staff will schedule appointments for a later date for deaf or hard of hearing individuals who need sign language interpreter services. Before going to a TAC, Corbin encourages everyone to visit irs.gov, irs.gov, irs.gov. V for victory over tax questions. Well, they'll find many online resources. There's links to those resources that are safe, secure, and convenient. Explain how to prepare for a visit. This information is available in both English and Spanish. Quote, we'd like to help everyone get the most out of their time with us. End quote. He said, quote, because appointments aren't necessary for these special Saturday hours, wait times can be longer than usual, so plan accordingly and come prepared, end quote. So you want to make sure you got your stuff ready when if you're going to go to one of these things so that you're ready to roll and ready to talk to someone with all the required stuff that you need to get things done, whatever those things happen to be. So come prepared with paperwork. 
uh, to arrive prepared, individuals should bring the following information. So here's some of the stuff you need if you're going to this stuff or advising someone about going to this stuff. Current government issued photo identification, social security cards for members of their households, including spouse and dependents, if applicable, any IRS letters or notices available and related documents, and those who plan to request identity verification services must bring two forms of identification and a copy of the tax return filed for the year in question if they file a return. During the visit, IRS staff may also request the following information a current mailing address and bank account information to receive payments or refunds by direct deposit. So if you want that direct deposit stuff, they need that banking stuff. So the IRS <clears throat> follows Centers for Disease Control Social Distancing Guidelines. So there's, there's a link to that here. Not even sure what those are these days, but whatever they are at your point and wherever you're at, then IRS is clearly going to be trying to be in alignment with those. That's for the COVID-19, of course, and availability may change without notice. So when required by CDC guidance, such as high transmission count, uh, counties, it's mandatory for people to wear face masks and social distance at these events. Free tax return service provided at Puerto Rico, uh, TAC, IRS Volunteer Income Tax Assistance, the VITA uh, com uh, community partners will be available at the Guanabo, uh, <laughs> Guanabo, I completely mispronounced. Guanabo, I think I said that right. Community partners will be available at the Guanabo, Puerto Rico, TAC, providing free tax preparation. Additional tax preparation assistance can be found in Puerto Rico by using the VITA slash TCE locator tool. There's a link to that locator tool here. Puerto Rico residents can enter 00638 in the zip, in the zip code field and search in 100 mile radius to get a list of open sites. So tax return preparation will not be available at any of the other uh, event locations. However, some community partners are still providing free tax preparation services, even though the filing season ended April 18th. The VITA, the VITA locator tool, list community partners that are still open. Anyone who still needs to file a 2021 federal tax return can use these free, safe, and convenient resources. Number one, any individual or family earning $73,000 or less in 2021 can uh, use the tax software fund providers who make their online products available through IRS free file. So there's a link to that here. Great tool, almost required these days with the complexity of the tax code and the changings of it and so on and so forth. Software is very helpful. There are products in English and Spanish. Note Form 1040PR U.S. Self-Employment Tax Return, including additional child tax credits for bona fide residents of Puerto Rico in Spanish, is not available through IRS free file. Individuals filing forms 1040PR can use my free taxes instead. There's a link to that here. And then we have then they got two number ones. This should be number two, I think, because it shouldn't have two number ones. But number number second, number one, one A, one dot. Free help preparing tax returns is available at any open volunteer income tax assistance center or tax consulting for the elderly location site. There's a link to that here. The income limit for VITA, V-I-T-A, assistance is $58,000. To find the closest free tax return preparation help, use the VITA locator tool or call 800-906-9887. More information on this wonderful stuff. There's a lot of links down here, so you can be reading for days and just entertain yourself with this kind of stuff. So there's, well, there's one here on how to register for certain online self-help tools, uh, reconciling your advanced child tax credit payments on your 2021 tax return, recovery rebate credit to learn about filing requirements for the recovery rebate credit, understanding the IRS or your IRS notice or letter, topic number 651, notices what to do, topic number 654, understanding your CP75 or CP75A notice request, for supporting documentation, publication 1915, understanding your IRS individual taxpayer identification number or the I-10, I-T-I-N. And then we have the Identity Theft Central. Lot of, lot of wonderful reading material that if you just wanna sit down by the fire and have a quiet evening of reading, th this stuff is here for you. And there's links to this stuff and there'll be a link to this in the description.